Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you a bunch of really awesome gadgets that I'd like to incorporate into a superhero suit and I need your help choosing which ones you think would be best and also maybe some ideas of your own that you think would be helpful in fighting crime or taking on the zombie apocalypse, whatever it may be. First we have what's called BrainLink. Now this is a brainwave sensor that connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth and allows you to play games, practice meditation. The games are actually pretty fun. I'll show you guys those in a second. But the way it works, you basically put it on like a headband and these are little probes that measure your alpha and beta waves. Alpha waves are emitted whenever you're really relaxed. You're sort of unhinging from all the stressful things and beta waves are whenever you're stressed or when you're focusing really hard. The key is to sort of unhinge from all the distractions and just kind of like float. It's just like you're not thinking about anything. Give your brain a rest. And this has actually helped me a ton. I was never into meditation or anything like that until recently. And this actually sort of proved it to me, which is amazing. You can actually feel a difference in your mind when you're focusing and when you're relaxing. It's just absurd. I don't know how to explain it. You'd have to try it for yourself. But I'll show you guys how these games work. They're actually pretty fun. So first you want to fire it up. Just press this button here and it should prompt you immediately to connect to the iPad. There we go. And so you can see up in this corner it's showing that it's not connected. So you first take this and these probes go right over your third eye, which is where you emit your psychic energy. So here's our next game, it's called Mind Combat. You're actually a space thumb person or something, because I have no idea what kind of character that is. He's actually kind of ridiculously looking. But it's a pretty fun game. So you use your mind to charge your weapons and create a force field around the earth. Now, if I purposefully stop focusing, then, you know, let's just sort of think about something that, like, something that stresses me out. It's going to go down. Now, if I want to focus again, Isn't that cool? It actually works. When you're focusing, you're gonna be charging up your weapons. So let's take some time and focus real quick. All right, so notice, I wanna use probably the mine there, the missile here. Now I'm gonna switch back and use my laser and kill those guys. Boom, perfect. So our next game is called Mind Tower Defense. This is my personal favorite. You have different characters, each has a different power, and you want to use your mind to charge up the meter to give you points to buy new towers. So when it first starts, you want to immediately start charging. All right, so you can see I have a tower there. I want to put one right here personally because it's going to allow me if they come around the other side I can still hit them I did turn off the sound on this game because it was just annoying me even that sound is annoying <laughs> what are you gonna do now the other powers include this one, which is to sort of become like a power up for all of its surrounding areas. This is the freeze tower. This is the bomb tower, so I'll show you guys that. Then there's this electric tower, which kind of sucks. All right, so now that I've charged that up, I don't know why that was so easy. So now you can go here and 
you can upgrade him. Boom. So he is the highest level. So you have to kind of alternate. I think it's easier for me to focus. That's why the orange power up is a lot easier. But the blue ones are a little more challenging because you have to sort of zone out. All right, let's put one right here. Spamming the whole land and <laughs> all right, let's keep charging it up. <sighs> Focusing on your breathing really helps. It's just like your breath is constant. I really am a guru. <laughs> you sort of get to this point where you're like, you feel the on switch. You really don't know what's going on in your head, but this thing's giving you a little bit of insight and you can use that to sort of lean different ways depending on what you want the result to be. So when you feel that point, when it raises, you know you're doing something right. So these are the rules. So try to clear your mind, close your eyes and imagine a beautiful scenery. Keep telling yourself you can do it. Try to keep your focus on an object, sit comfortably and keep steady. I'm doing like almost none of those things. So I must be really naturally good at this. So you can see I'm focusing, I'm trying to charge up this bomb tower so I can upgrade it. I've got two, I think I need six total to get it to that full bomb. So right, the one with the star on it and the other two with the people on them already are completely charged up. Now I'm gonna shut up and actually focus. All right, that should be good enough. Boom. All right, so I think at this point, <laughs> literally, it's boom. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it before. So you're probably wondering why I decided to include this in the helmet. I think that it'd be really important to be able to focus and to clear your mind from stressful situations, especially in like a zombie apocalypse where there's something around the corner that could kill you at any moment. Something that would allow you to unhinge from all that stress and to think of a game plan. Give your brain that rest and you might think of something really, really clever that when you're so stressed out, you wouldn't be able to come up with. Also, I don't think that the technology is there yet, but it's definitely showing a promise that maybe we'd be able to control our electronics using this sort of technology. So I was thinking since I've been working with lasers, maybe the enemy has you pinned down and you just have no way of escaping. You could use this to activate a laser beam on the helmet that would distract them or something like that. Maybe like a flamethrower built in. There's a lot of possibilities when you don't have to use your hands or a trigger or anything. It's just, you just think it and it happens. I'm very excited about where technology is headed with this sort of applications. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that this is useful? What would be the ideal situation to have like a mind controlled device? I think it's really interesting and I wanna hear your thoughts.